So how can you apply creativity to a system like a finance system, such as you'd find in banking? Well, I think you can apply creativity to anything. And the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process of thinking. And it is basically, in simple terms, how do we do things differently and how do we do things better? And invariably, there's economic overtones. And um, you might say, well, OK, uh, one area, of course, that's awful are regulations. Do we have too many regulations? I often say to the troops, and we have 3,500 people within ResMed, uh, if I'm giving general talks, I'll say, look, if you're filling out some goddamn form and you don't know why you're doing it, um, um, try, to, try to have a template. Like, is this helping our cash flow? And if it's negative, that's probably not a good thing. Is this helping employee satisfaction? And it's not such a good thing. Is this, is this improving customer satisfaction? So you, you've got to go back and say, look, why are we doing this? This is crazy. Sometimes it's mandated by government and so on and so forth. But we, we are over-regulated, and that, that actually is an impediment to creativity. But you shouldn't worry about all the regulations. You start with a clean slate and say, if I were going to set this thing up, would I do it the way we're doing it now? And that starts the creative juices going. And you get different people doing that, and then you pool the ideas. And then from there, you say, well, which ideas are the good ones? Well, we have a brain, we have a heart, and we have a gut. Sometimes you have a gut feel that something will be good, but that's completely subjective. Sometimes you know in your heart that it's good completely subjective. The brain then says, OK, let's take these ideas and design experiments to test the hypotheses. And that's where you say, well, OK, th let's apply the economic uh, structure to it and let's, let's see, would, if this were implemented, would it save money? We think it might. OK, then you design a pilot study to confirm or deny that. And that's the way, and generally, you know, creativity isn't a revolutionary thing, it's evolutionary. Mm -hmm. And if you think of it that way, then the it's impossible bit goes away. It becomes very possible because you, you have it in chewable chunks, if you like, and, and it's you, gradual improvements.